This is Asa Red Wine for the 2nd of September 2017. It's a little bit similar to Asa Benimeko, but red wine has much deeper colour tones. And much darker than Asa Benimeko. Like Benny Mako, the tree holds its trunk and branch and colour throughout the tree and it's a much darker red compared to Benny Mako. It's a lovely rich colour in the bark and the branching. tree seems to have recovered well from its its pruning of that diseased branch which was in the middle of the tree there if you can see in the middle of the frame that pale part of the trunk it had to be cut away into that trunk there that stem seems to have recovered well can't see any died back on the tree at the moment Trees almost three foot tall. We've had it now for three years. It hasn't grown a great deal, a few inches maybe, but then again it has suffered wind burn on the tops of the tree and some disease branching. So we can't complain and it's it's doing well at the moment. I can imagine this tree six foot to eight foot high and it'd be, it would really be a, a variety that stands out in the garden because of its really deep rich reds and especially when as soon as the water hits the leaves the rain or the, when you water it the contrast of the colour deepens possibly more so than any variety that we have in the garden it goes a really lush deep wet looking red and it really stands out the tree's been losing a few leaves which you can see on the pot and around the tree so I think it's going to be an early autumn this year as the trees in the garden usually hold their leaves until late autumn or well into October in the last few years. But in contrast to colours, that's our very dark orange dream there. And a little atropoperium in the front here. Atropoperium is, isn't as bright a red compared to the red wine here. Here's a Shiraz there on the right. With this red, uh, pinks and greens. So that's a quick update on Asa red wine. 